Hey everybody, welcome back to Talk That Talk. So we have to talk about Nicki Minaj and Kanye West. So Nicki Minaj performed at Essence Fest, which was a mess. I really think they sabotaged her performance because she was not on the live stream. So you had to really be there in person in order to see her performance. And apparently her check wasn't right. Her, something happened with her wardrobe. It just was all but that's all right because you know at the wireless fest her performance was amazing but we'll talk about that another time kanye and nikki west are they beefing because nikki did not want to perform the song monster at the essence fest and she says she's monstered out i'm gonna play you guys the clip here in the clip that she says she don't mess with clowns so of course a lot of people would think about cardi b in the situation is she not messing with kanye because he just did um cardi b's song hot ish on that song but i honestly heard a lot of other people talking about the new body song and how he never released that it got leaked and of course everybody loved nikki's verse kanye feels like i don't know I think he's intimidated by her. I think he knows that she is a better rapper than him. And she always just be killing her verses on his songs. And she does better than him on his songs. And I think he feels a way about it. What do y'all think about that? The fans also noticed that the monster video was taken down off of YouTube. And, and let me show y'all that Kanye unfollowed Nicki Minaj on Instagram. After this whole thing. Nicki does still follow him. So... I don't know. Maybe Kanye tried to reach out to Nikki. She didn't want to talk to him. Or maybe he didn't reach out at all. But, you know, he got the word back that she said she doesn't mess with clowns, calling him a clown. You know, so I guess there is some things going on behind the scenes between them two. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think they're going to just resolve this and make up? I mean, I don't know. What's up with him making her do her verse three, four, five times just to not release the song? I'm just saying. I'd be annoyed too. Now, we have to talk about Sierra. She released a new song called Jump, and the music video is amazing. It's number seven on trending right now on YouTube. And here's the thing. Now, we know Sierra. She, I don't think Sierra is a terrible singer. You know, she has a similar sound that she had when she freaking came out. And we all know that she's an amazing dancer. And I really feel like she could have been way ahead in her career if there was no career gap, you know, and everything like that. But I am glad to see that she is back. And I think the video is amazing. She has so many different looks in her video. The dancing, of course, we knew was going to be on point in there. And um, I thought that the song is good. I think the song will do well. We'll just have to see. I love how she makes her dance records and she makes like upbeat music. So I'm really happy for her. Hopefully she keeps this going. I don't know if she has any collabs in the stash that she plans on releasing to kind of, you know, really maybe she'll drop an album and not just drop a single um, like before. So we'll have to see what goes on with Sierra. Definitely wishing her the best. Now, let's get back to the City Girls and Nicki Minaj. So, found out that Nicki Minaj actually liked one of JT's pictures. And in that picture that JT posted, she posted a carousel. And one of the pictures in there was of her hugging Megan Thee Stallion. And Nicki Minaj liked this. Now, some people may say, oh, is Nicki trying to... We already know that she kind of dropped the whole thing with the City Girls. And that was done publicly. But... Is her and Megan the Stallion slowly dropping things? Are they going to get back cool or whatever? Because rumor has it that Megan the Stallion kind of switched up on Nicki after she got the feature with Cardi B. So me personally, I don't think Nicki Minaj liking JT's picture with a carousel of like 10 pictures in it. And one of them had Megan in it. I don't really think that means anything. Sometimes you could like a picture and not even swipe through all of the pictures. So who knows if she even realized. But if she did, who cares? You know, move on, move on, move on. Now, 
we also had to talk about cardi b so there was a lot of drama with cardi b and angie from the shade room because cardi b was upset she wanted them to not post her daughter her daughter culture's birthday recently just passed and she didn't want them posting her daughter and she also just aired out how they post a lot of negative things about her that'll basically get people to drag her and everything like that and cardi b just went on a rant which i talked about in another video about how social media it's just killing her mental health and she's hanging on by a thread pretty much and she doesn't like how everybody always has something negative to say about her so she basically called out the shade room they had a whole twitter back and forth thing and you know apparently cardi got on the phone with angie from the shade room to take things down and you know cardi b is actually being accused of this whole thing being a pr stunt because Nicki Minaj was trending and she had a good performance at the wireless fest so a lot of people are saying that Cardi B did this as a PR stunt do you guys think that this is a PR stunt to take the attention off of Nicki Minaj or are the fans reaching let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video bye